Hey guys, welcome back. So today what we are doing is I'm going to show you how to make um, two different, well I guess four different ornaments. Um, first one we're going to do, and you're going to watch me pour on the ornaments for this one, is the Grinch. And we're going to do a little addition to um, what I did with this one. And I got little Santa hats to put on top of them as well. So we're going to do that. Um, we're also going to do a Jack Skellington one. This is what I have left from the ones I already did. Um, the other three already sold. So we're going to do another one of this. Um, I'm also going to do a Snoopy. Which I haven't done one yet, so... We're going to look at that. And then the last one I'm going to do, or show you guys how to do, is a Charmander one. And I already have the, the bulbs painted for the ones that I'm going to show you. Um, like how to do the faces on. But um, we're going to pour on these ones because I'm going to do some more Grinch ones a little bit later. So I'm going to need these poured anyways, and that way you can see how I do that. And then we move on to the other ones. Um, so materials for the Grinch ones. Um, I use a black acrylic paint marker for the black on them. It's just, trust me, it makes your life easier. You can also just use black acrylic paint and freehand it if you would like. Um, I have a medium yellow or cadmium yellow uh, artist loft paint as well. That's for his pupil there. And then you need a green boa, kind of like this. I got this at Joann's. And this is what I used for his hair. Um, you're going to need glue. And I have... Let me see what I have. I have two different kinds. I've got this Industrial Strength Adhesive E6000. And then I also have Super Glue. Um, I used this on the first ones, and it worked. It just, um, I feel like it could have worked better, so I'm going to try the super glue on the one that we do. Um, and then the last thing you need, or the more, most important thing you need, is these clear ornaments. I get these from Michael's. This was a pack of 25 and I paid $10 for it. Um, and then the last thing you need is some kind of festive ribbon for the hanger. Or you can just get the hooks from the dollar stores if you prefer. That's fine too. Alright, so then for our base color on these ornaments, I made a lime green because the Grinch is lime green. So we're going to use this and it's just my regular mixture. So if you go back to my first video, I'll try to link it into the description for you. You can see how to mix the paint. Um, and then I used... Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, I used the green, and I mixed in some yellow and some white to lighten it up a little bit. And that's how I got this shade. Alright, so as you can see when you do this, it flows nicely and it leaves a mound on a mound or a little ribbon in there. It's kind of like the consistency of honey or heavy cream. Alright, so let's get started on pouring on these ornaments. So you want to make sure they're nice and clean. And again, I use a wine cork and a popsicle stick to stand it up so it dries nicely. Get that on there. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna take this popsicle stick out of here or my stir stick just to make it a little bit easier for myself. And we're just gonna start at the top of the ornament, and we're just gonna pour it. I kind of do a little swirl on it. Of course, that had to happen. Um, just to kind of get it to flow all around the ornament. Okay. There we go. 
smooth. This is also coming off a little bit thick, so I'm going to thin it out a little bit. So let me add a little bit of water. If you add water to your paint to thin it out, you want to add a little bit at a time. You can always add more water. It's harder to add more paint to make it thicker. All right, that should be that should be much better. All right, so let's come over to this one. I think this one, the center dot on it is off a little bit too, so. So there's that one. And you just wanna do it so you can, you wanna look on the sides here, make sure everything gets covered when you do it. Um, sometimes you can miss a little bit, and if you're okay with that, then you know, you don't have to worry too much about it. Like, I'm trying to do this so I don't get paint on this because I don't want any green on this one. You can see on this one, I missed a spot there towards the top, but that shouldn't be a problem because I'm going to use one of those little Santa hats on that one. So, I'm not too worried about it. So, these two are covered. I'm going to move those aside, and I got two more over here. And we're going to do the same thing to these ones. Cover these two. And I mixed about, this one's gonna spin a little bit, uh, about seven ounces of paint. And that should be plenty to cover these two and possibly one more. I gotta see how well this covers these two. The problem with these is sometimes you gotta pour a little bit extra just to get it covered. So you do end up getting a lot of paint in the bottom. But again, I'm not too worried about the tops of these because I will be putting the Santa hats on them and that'll help. And also the Grinch fuzz. So that will help um, with anything that I miss. Alright, let me get inside this cup. Alright, so these look covered. So we're going to move that out of the way. And again, I don't torch my ornaments because um, I almost had a fireball, so I just kind of avoid that. Alright, so now we're going to move on to just um, painting on the ornaments or transforming them from just the solid color that they are to a more fun thing. Oh, and I will also mention I got these Santa hats. They were $6.99 on Amazon and it was a pack of 24. I just searched um, miniature Santa hats or doll Santa hats, I think, something like that. And they came up, so. So we're gonna use these. And I just kinda wanna test on this one how I'm gonna do this because the problem here is going to be getting the hanger through the hat. So I'm thinking, I wanna kinda stuff that in there a little bit. I still want his fuzz to kinda stick out. Or maybe I could even like put it on the side of his head. Maybe that would work. I think we'll do that. Or let me try. It's a good thing I got one with so many hats, so I can try this. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, you will need a pair of scissors as well. Let's cut that open a little bit. Did I get all the way through? 
I did not get all the way through it. Oh, I didn't pull up the scissor. Okay, so let's feed this through the hat. Right, let's get the hat. Um, like that, maybe. And I might glue the pom pom of it down on the back there. All right, so let me get my glue. And remember, super glue is gonna really stick, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna put some on the hat. And then we're going to put a little on the pom pom and stick it to the back of his head. And take this, stick it there. You do need to hold it for a second while it dries. The good thing about the super glue is it dries clear. The um, industrial glue does not. I think that works. I like it. I think it still <laughs> might look a little wonky. We'll see if we can uh, adjust it with the fresh one we do. All right, so with the Grinch, we're going to start with him because we're going to need to let him dry for a moment in between coats. Um, we are going to take a brush and the yellow paint and we're going to paint in his eyeballs. I start with that because um, you're going to need to do a couple coats to make it stand out, depending on what type of paint you use. Alright, so we're going to start with his eyeballs. I always start small because you can make it bigger. It's always easier to make it bigger, it's harder to make it smaller. Keep that in mind. And I do have a yellow paint pen, but it's just not the right shade. So that's why we're not using that. Otherwise, you bet your butt that's what I'd be using. The, the paint pens also dry a little bit faster than the normal acrylic paint. I'm trying to use him as my uh, model. Because I don't have a uh, picture of what I'm looking at. I used my phone the last time, and my phone is what I use to record my videos, so can't really, uh, you know, use that for my uh, go off of picture if I don't have my phone available. All right, so that's the first coat. The cool thing about the ornaments when you don't have the top in it. You can just set it aside like that, and uh, <clears throat> it will be um, it'll stand up right, so it won't fall on the thing we're using. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush. I'm gonna leave this paintbrush in the yellow because that's where I'm gonna use that. All right. So next on to um, Jack. So I did um, the different moods of Jack. That why that's why this one looks sad. So we're gonna do Happy Jack, which will be fun because I'm going based off of memory here. Like I can use his eyes a little bit. But 
All right, so first I'm shaking my paint pen. I'm gonna make sure you do that. Um, if you haven't used it yet, um, it tells you on the pen how to get it started. Um, you want to shake it and then press the tip down for a while till the paint's into the tip. Um, yeah. And I'm sure most paint pens are the same way. This is not any name brand. I just found it cheap on Amazon, so that's what I did. Alright, so first, I want to do his eyes. Now remember, he's just a skeleton, so there's not... He's one of the uh, easier characters to do. So I start with just kind of like an oval shape, and then I add this little twist there for his like curved eye. We might be doing Maniacal Jack, or kind of Angry Jack. Alright, and then we fill it in. So now let's do the other eye. So I kind of skipped the bean part there. <laughs> I just went with a little curve there, and then out and over. And again, it's okay if you make these a little bit skinnier than what they're supposed to be, because you can always make it bigger. It is very hard to make it smaller. Also, side note, make sure that your hand doesn't have any other paint on it when you're, or at least if it does, the paint's dry when you're handling your white ornaments. Okay, so there's his eyes. I'm going to make this one match a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So we're going to add his eyebrow. So yeah, we're going more angry Jack, it looks like. <laughs> so nostrils there, and then for his smile. It's nice and wide, so you just kind of start. Go up like that. And then you just kind of add the teeth marks. You have Jack. We're gonna fix his nose a little bit. Uh, -uh. I had my other one's better. <laughs> anyway, there's Jack. His that's what's wrong. His smile's off center. Anyway, it works. Um, it does help if you use a reference when you're doing it. At least for me, it helps. All right, so. There's our jack. So uh, to finish him, we're going to take the top of the ornament and just kind of bend it, put it inside like so. I like to turn it so that the loop is facing out that way. That way when it's hanging the uh, on your tree, his face should stick out. All right, so we're gonna take a Santa hat. We're gonna put it on him. I think that makes him a little bit more Christmassy. So we're going to do it this way and we're going to test to see if I like doing it this way better for when I get to the Grinch or back to the Grinch. All right, so I think we'll glue that on there and then I should be able to, once it's folded like that, put my hanger around the hat and use that to hang. Well, we're trying it. You know, you can't um, 
fail if you don't try. Can't succeed if you don't try at it. I guess that's probably a better way to say that. I like to think I've learned from my mistakes though and my little, you know, oops, I probably shouldn't have done that moment. Add the hat to the top. I think the super glue is probably the best option because it dries pretty fast too. Alright, so Jack's got his hat. Let's glue his little pom pom, put it to the back of his head. And I should also say this is gorilla super glue, not just normal super glue. I do kind of like this a little bit better. I did use my X-Acto knife to get the buildup of glue off the top of it when I started working today. Because I also was doing some resin pouring earlier. Just hold that there. Oh, a little bit longer. Alright, before we... And so we're not going to um, put the... Uh, ribbon on it yet. We're just going to let that glue dry, make sure it gets nice and secure, and then we'll come back to this one. So for him, I'm going to stick him right there in that cup. He'll be safe. Alright, so next we're going to work on Charmander. And I realize this is a darker shade of orange. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. I might make it actually Charmeleon, which you know, it's just, it is what it is. So I'm going to, uh, I need white paint. I gotta go get my white paint, um, but I also have this carousel pink and teal seal that I'm going to be using for the blue in the eye and the mouth. And I have one other color I'm gonna grab, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Got my other little colors here. So we're gonna start with the black pen and we're gonna do an outline for his eyes and his mouth. So I like to find the center. And these are kind of like ovals with flat bottoms. Alright, so then for his mouth, just went over with a little indent there. That's for his pointed dragon mouth with a little curve down here. There we go. We'll do his little nostrils there and his happy eyebrows because Charmander's the happy one right, and then we're gonna come down this way with the paint marker we're gonna fill this in with black this is his his eye And I do find when I do like characters like this, for the background color, it is way easier to pour it. So that's why I do it like that. Alright, 
there's his eyes. All right, and I did notice when I got up that my phone battery is getting low, so let me grab my phone charger real fast so I can plug that in. shaking coming. Right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to paint. I'm going to outline his teeth inside his mouth. Put these little triangles in there. Pretty simple. Alright, so then we're going to paint inside his mouth. So. And this is um, paint that I mixed up for a uh, commission piece that I did. So, um, it's uh, not regular acrylic paint, it's just mixed up, ready to pour paint. But I figured I'd use it for this because they're the right shades of what I'm going for. So. It works. I just might have to do more than one coat. And actually, I'm going to use a different pink than the uh, carousel pink from Becca Art. down in there because oh, these brushes are Nike Nike Pro found them on Amazon I really like them they have a little flat spot there that's easy to grip for your uh, hand I was going to show you guys how to do Pikachu as well, but I don't have all my yellow ready to go and I need to mix up more yellow paint. So maybe we'll do Pikachu tomorrow. I'll have time later today to mix up some more yellow and pour them so he'll be dry in time. But we might also add a Santa hat to the Pikachu I have right now. I think it'd be cute. And they have all these Santa hats, so I might as well use them. Um, I know I still have to do Snoopy, but that might be um, later today because I do have some place I gotta go here shortly. Alright, so there's his mouth. And now I need to do. Oh, see, again, flat. All right, so now I need to do some white. Cool. White. Oh, knocking stuff over. So I need a fine point one. All right, so here we go. I'm going to fill in his teeth here. Like so. You might have to go over the teeth again when I come back in with the black and kind of clean up the outlines a little bit. There's that. Now for his eye.
so there's his eye. And now we're going to do a little bit of blue on his, in his eye. So I got enough blue right there that should be able to work just fine. Get another brush. that one. Uh, this side. I always shake my uh, craft paint like that. So if you just need a little bit and you don't need to pour any out, you know, into like a petri dish or something to paint with, you get it on the lid there. And it's usually enough to do little small areas like that. Alright, so there's Charmander. A darker Charmander. I would call him Charmeleon, but he looks a little too happy to be Charmeleon, so he's just going to be happy, you know. Burnt Charmander. <laughs> Alright, so let's come back to Jack here. And let's get him finished up with a... Oh, I knocked over my water. set up with a ribbon. Um, I do like this red and white ribbon that I have on this jack. So I think we're going to do that for him. So we're going to cut off a good length of this ribbon. If you have excess, you can cut it off. It's pretty simple. All right, so I'm going to thread this through the hat. tie a knot at the top of the ribbon. And I like using the ribbon more than just the hooks. I think it adds a little bit more to the ornament. Just like that. And if you don't like the knot or the way it is like that, you can probably hide it behind the hat. Like so. And there you have it. The Jack Skellington ornament. I think it looks pretty cool. Pretty awesome. I said cool and cute at the same time, so yeah, that worked. Alright, so there's that. We'll set him aside. And we're going to come back to the Grinch, and then um, I think it's time for me to uh, go for the time being, and then I'll be back later. We'll do more with the Grinch. It's going to be in a separate video, so this is going to be part one. Part two will come later this evening. We're gonna do another coat on his eyeballs. And I think two coats is what I did on the other one. So I think that's what we'll do here. So I think two coats works just fine. And those other four might be dry by then as well, so we can uh do those ones as well. So this is part one of ornaments. Part two will be later this evening. Alright, so there's his eyes. We're going to let those dry while I'm gone. And we'll be back with part two. We'll finish the Grinch. We'll do Snoopy. I'll have my laptop down here so I'll have a reference for him. And um, we'll do, we'll probably pour um, one to do Pikachu tomorrow. So we'll do part three tomorrow. So we'll do Pikachu tomorrow. We'll do um, probably a couple others tomorrow. Maybe a couple more jacks with different expressions. So I can show you how to do those. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you liked this video, press that like button. Um, Share it if you would like to, um, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. It'd be, you know, very helpful, very nice of you. And, um, 
yeah, I will see you guys later tonight.